Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have a new Dev Channel Insider Preview build, 26200.5622, which rolled out with the update KB5058512, and the Dev Channel now is where Microsoft, in effect, is testing this year's annual feature update, Windows 11 25H2. So a lot of the features in the Dev Channel should be rolling out with 25H2, but in this week's build, a lot of these features are actually already coming to the stable version. So it's going to be interesting to see how they proceed with 25H2 going forward. Now, just a quick overview as to the new features that have rolled out with this build. Microsoft says it's beginning to roll out a new text action in Click to Do, draft with Copilot in Word. So basically, the the point of this, according to Microsoft, um, is that if you get an idea, whether it's a sentence in an email or a snippet on your screen, what you would do is you would just win and click on the recognized text and choose the draft with Copilot in Word action, as we can see in the image provided. And it'll help you turn that so-called idea into a full draft. And that means that, as they say, there will be no more writer's block. Now, once again, this is only rolling out for Copilot Plus PCs. So once again, there's no surprises there, where, and that's where Microsoft focus is. So you would also need a Microsoft 365 Copilot subscription that is required for this feature. Now, the next a new feature in the Dev Channel for this week is Quick Machine Recovery. And I posted a video on this earlier today, which I'll leave linked down below in the end screen if you want more info. But just a quick recap for this video, Quick Machine Recovery, according to Microsoft, is designed to help Windows 11 devices recover from widespread boot issues by applying remediations through the Windows Recovery Environment, WinRE. Go check the video out for more info. And then the next one is about introducing multiple dashboards in widgets where Microsoft mentions it's adding support for multiple boards so that you can have more space for your widgets. So with the introduction of the new navigation bar here on the left, as you can see, you can switch between a dedicated widgets dashboard and other integrated dashboards like my feed. So obviously that's your news feed. And I actually think that's a nice idea. And the next one is Microsoft says it's trying out showing recommendations from the Microsoft Store app within the Open With three-dotted menu dialog. So basically, this could be termed an ad. So these recommendations, it says, are denoted by a store icon next to apps in the dialog. So here we can see PDFX, get from the Microsoft Store, and you can download that from the Microsoft Store. I've posted on this previously I think when it was in another Insider Preview build, and I don't think this is anything I would actually use, and I just consider this to be clutter. I don't think, me personally, I think I would ever use a feature like that. And then PhoneLink has received a bit of attention once again, where the following improvements for PhoneLink and Phone Companion with the Start menu are rolling out to insiders across all channels, according to Microsoft. So there are three main improvements with this um, where Microsoft says you can see notifications from your mobile device apps grouped by app. And the second one is you can mirror your Android device's screen with a single click according to Microsoft from your start menu. So what you would do is you would click on your device's icon or access the option from the footer menu to quickly launch device screen mirroring which will be down here in the three-dotted menu, if you click on that option. And then the third improvement, your iPhone memories, Microsoft says, are now accessible from the Start menu, so Windows iCloud app users can see recently synced photos and quickly access the, access the iCloud photos all within the Start menu. So Microsoft really focusing on this Start Menu Companion, which has already started to some extent or the other rolling out to the stable version of 24H2. And just on a side note, Screen Mirroring, Microsoft says, is only supported on certain Android devices. So just take note of that. And yet another little change for Copilot Plus PCs, where Microsoft says it's made some improvements to make 
the search box at the top of settings more centered. And then they're also rolling out a new device card for settings home for Windows insiders signed in with their Microsoft account and in the United States. So this is region specific. Microsoft says it provides a quick snapshot of your PC's key specs and usage. And from the card, you can also jump directly to the settings about page to see more detailed information about your PC. And then over and above those new features and improvements for the dev channel for this week, there are a couple of fixes where there's fixes for search, the start menu, file explorer, task manager, narrator voice access settings, and a couple of general. And then we've also got some known issues because obviously Dev Channel is still early days, so known issues are expected. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.